how is he positioning the company going forward? Why is this such an important strategic move? And how does it compare to some of the other big deals he's made, like with Marvel, like with Lucasfilm? Well, this is much bigger. This is $54 billion, and this is really his, I think, best last effort to really position the company as a direct-to-consumer company to compete against the Netflix of the world in order to bring his direct-to-consumer ESPN app to consumers and his direct-to-consumer uh, Disney brand to consumers, he needs more content. And so he needs the film studio uh, of 21st Century Fox and all their content to, to really program these, these two channels fully so that they can be competitive in the marketplace. So, Porter, all that... He's, he's, he's going to kill the cable industry, too, because he's going all digital. Well, that is an interesting point, because Disney has made so much money off of that right. cable industry for so long, not just with ESPN, with, with right. the Disney Channel, with That's the Family right. Channel, things like that. And it is interesting to sever that relationship. He's not severing it, but to really move away from it. Moving That's away, a tough right. move. Yeah, but he, he's going to control Hulu. He's going to turn Hulu into a very serious competitor to Netflix and Amazon. Um, he's got ESPN across the board in a hundred different digital formats. And while the, the interest in NFL is lagging, uh, they're down something like 18 to 49 year old men. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the last five years, 25% of them have moved away and are not following mm -hmm. NFL football. But there are other sports, and what, what Disney is positioned to is not only dominate uh, digital in this country, but they're going global. One, one little uh, talked about asset is Sky in the mm -hmm. UK that's part of this deal. And that gives Disney a very good franchise in both Asia and in Europe. It's not just Disney we'll hear from. We'll also hear from CBS right. and Viacom. Yeah. And some, uh, the Disney deal has gotten some other media companies' attention, right. whether they might need right. to team up. What's going on with CBS, Viacom, and Les Moonves in particular? Well, uh, Sherry Redstone has to put those two companies back together, and she will. Uh, Les Moonves is the sticking point. He wants absolute unfettered control. If he gets it, fine. If he doesn't get it, he may have to leave. He did try to buy... CBS three years ago on his own and couldn't do it because the Redstones have absolute control. But Paul, in the past, Les Moonves, it appears the outside world has been able to say, I don't want it to happen, it doesn't happen. Uh, is his situation there different? Why is Sherry willing, perhaps, as Porter says, to go over his objections? Uh, I think the Disney 21st Century Fox deal really, you know, pushed her over the edge to say, listen, I now, you know, this whole scale issue, when we think about Amazon and Dis uh, Facebook and Google's down the road, we have to think five to ten years down the road. If you are thinking that far down the road and you're Sherry Redstone, you have to put those two companies together. Ideally, Les is part of it because Les is so yeah. well regarded by the street. It'd be very, it'd be much better transaction with Les involved, but it appears that she'd be willing to do it with, without Les, and that is a much more risky transaction.